Good day, good day, good day, good day, guys. This is Mr. Shah. Happy Sunday. It's a beautiful Sunday, this side of Africa and South Africa. I'm back again. I'm back again. Just want to show you something, guys, about um, Trust Wallet. Especially if you are based in South Africa, I think sometimes certain people or other people, they do have a problem in terms of um, uh, having their wallet in a USD form or EUR and all that um, because they always have to find a way to try and bring it back to the czar or to the rent. So if you are struggling to calculate all these um, all these uh, all these um, uh, USD or USD currencies uh, to know how much your assets are worth, you know how to know how your crypto assets are worth and all those things, you can actually change it to ZAR so that it can always calculate everything in rents and that is going to be simple for you to understand and then to actually know how much your portfolio is worth so guys go with me right now let me just quickly check you um, i'll show you this show you this um how to actually change it from usd to zap it's very simple guys just follow me let's go now you simply come to your trust wallet um you're gonna punch in your pin if you, you just have to have your pin you just have you have, you have to have uh, a security pin to get into your wallet because you don't want wrong hands having access to your wallet so once you're done you simply come here i'm just gonna make this um so then at least everyone can actually see what we're dealing with here um gonna select this and then you're gonna come here you're simply gonna come on settings and then after you click settings then you're gonna come here on preferences here and once you come here you're gonna simply click say preferences and then once you're gonna you on preferences you're gonna go to you see card you see there, there, there will be currency and then there will also be dub browser so what you're simply gonna do you're gonna quickly run to go and click on the czar or on the czar or on the currency right but i'm quite sure that many of you this might be on usd so you're going to come in click on currency right and then you simply go to click and currency and then you can see this different kind of level of um different uh currencies you can see usd gbp eur aud rub btc ETH, bnb and all different kinds you can actually change to any currency that you want so most of you right now as i'm talking to you you might be here you are simply here on the usd right you are on the usd as you can see now all these are on the usd so but now because you want to change to the you're simply going to come in and you're going to click there right so once you click on the currency then you're going to go down you know the is the letter z, z right and then if you check there there is your za. there is your za south african rent right and once you say south african rent then you're gonna come and click here right you're gonna select it there simple as abc boom okay you're gonna click you selected rent right you can see everything now is in rent even if you try to check it now you go to preferences you're gonna see now it just selected zap simple as that guide that's how you simply do it my name is Mr. Shah. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button on my YouTube channel. And also don't, don't also forget to share the video with other people out there. Go and change it if you want to change it. But if you're good with USD, then it's still okay. But if you want to change it to ZA, whereby it can actually have all your portfolio calculated in rents, so you don't have to be taking the amount multiplied by 14 or 15 or whatever, uh, the, exchange value, um, the exchange rate by that particular time. So just go and change it to ZA, then it will always calculate everything in rents. Love and peace, I'm out.